Hey, come get in the van. I've got salmon. Are you doing everything you can to prevent family and friends from falling victim to stranger salmon danger? The first step is making sure your loved ones have all the delicious salmon they need so that when temptation is waved in front of them, they will be able to think clearly and realize, I get all the salmon I need elsewhere and I don't need to look for it in dangerous places. One step towards making sure that you have enough salmon for yourself and your friends and family would be this product that I just picked up today at Whole Foods. As you can see there, it's actual wild salmon, which is way, way better than most farm-raised salmon. I think things are being done about the farm-raised salmon situation, if you don't know about that, but farm-raised salmon, it's some of the worst, most manipulated food products that you can get your hands on from an agricultural standpoint. It's super unnatural, and I think that there are people that are trying to change that and find better ways, but the way they farm salmon is really, really unnatural, and it's supposed to be very bad for you, supposedly. So, wild is important. They had a different version that wasn't wild. They cost the same, so I was like, of course I'm going for the wild. A little darker pink there, little less fat content because these fish actually swim. I'm just gonna do this up here. It looks like it's pretty self-explanatory. Open it up, pull it out. There you go, a lot of little mini discs. Not a lot of food here. Not cheap either, wild salmon isn't cheap. Whole Foods isn't cheap, but hey, the bad guys know that, and they know you may be skimping on salmon in your home, and they may use that against you. Buy salmon, people. So there you go. It has the familiar little... I do not see one of those handy little flip open things. Have you ever noticed that the healthier a product is, the more likely it's gonna be to be difficult to get in the packaging. I think the major corporations spend a huge amount of money making sure their packaging is easy to open. So I'm just gonna get me a knife and hold it really close to my face so there's no danger, but I will be cutting away. Cut away, away from the face, away from the face. Sticking it in there. There we go, it's already open, look at that. Again, I'm moving my finger from the back, away from the, not in the fingers, away from the face, away. Away from, don't wanna, don't wanna mess this up. So now it's open. Spence and Company Wild Salmon Pinwheels. Got some hardwood smoked salmon here. Shallots, capers, vinegar, salt. But yeah, cream cheese with some few flavoring agents in it. Pretty short ingredients list considering how many different things are in here as far as you're making a type of spread for inside the salmon. Salmon feels pretty firm. I think that's probably normal for wild smoked salmon with a pretty low fat content. You see they're very dark pink and the cream cheese in the middle has enough of a uh, enough flavoring in it that it you know that's not a camera trick it's actually kind of pinkish in color and you can see little pieces of stuff in it let's see how it is it's good it's got a firm texture to the salmon flesh for sure, I would say very smoky. It's smoked salmon, it should be smoky, but this is very smoky. I wouldn't say unpleasantly so, but more smoky than maybe I've ever had before. I'm gonna try one more. Again, you see that? Going in. This is my first time trying this product. Sometimes I like to go for something I've never had before. Sometimes I like to do something that I know is good and share it. 
but I rarely give negative reviews just because it's just worked out that way. I've got to say, this is fun. It'd be great if you were in a hurry. There's nothing wrong with this product, but in my opinion, for the way it tastes, I would rather just do it myself. And whenever you do salmon yourself, it's gonna cost a lot less than when pinwheels are pre-made for you or whatever you're gonna do with the salmon. They charge you a lot to make it for you. And frankly, I would rather just have plain cream cheese than this anyway. Between the heavily smoked salmon and the strong flavor of the cream cheese filling, it's almost overwhelming. Maybe if you were having this on some kind of bread or crackers or something, it would even itself out. But I'm usually eating it straight, trying to cut back on the carbs. And so I like to get just smoked salmon, put some cream cheese on it, roll it up and eat it. Not only would that be cheaper, I actually think it would taste better. Every flavor in here is good, but I just think it's too strong. If that sounds like something that you wouldn't mind though, I mean, it's just, it's cream cheese and shallots and lemon juice. Everything about this is good, but it's almost like it's a salmon roll and concentrate form. Like I should mix this with, I don't know, an ounce of rice or put it on those little party bread things and make a sandwich out of it. It's good, but it's strong. Would I buy this again? Probably not. Pinwheels cost too much to be buying when you could just make it yourself in three seconds with a piece of smoked salmon and a slice of cream cheese and just wrap it up. And who cares if it's pretty if you're just eating it yourself. If you're putting together a party platter, again, it's very expensive. It's wild salmon. There are probably other brands of pinwheels that would be out there that you could get cheaper and may even taste better than this particular one. I think mainly because of the strength of the cream cheese. I think that the extra smoky salmon would be fine with maybe a plainer cream cheese on the inside. These wild smoked salmon pinwheels that are handmade, just right, handmade. I mean, that's gotta run the price up right there. No machine made pinwheels at, at Spence and Company. They're handmade in Massachusetts. So, you know, what do you have to pay somebody in Massachusetts to make, make pinwheels? I'm sure that there's a pinwheel union up there and a pinwheel worker probably makes about $50 an hour and gets to retire when they're 45 and then get a $75,000 a year pension and move to North Carolina and be annoying. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not bitter, I, I'm not. So anyway, these hand rolled salmon rolls are a little too strong for me. I think if they had plain cream cheese, I would love them, honestly. Maybe I'll even take these and put other, no, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna eat them. And I will eat every one of them because they are delicious, just a little too strong. Keep that in mind if you decide to try these out. My name's Keith and I love salmon. I also love making YouTube videos. I also love bad audio that's very echoey. Do you like it too? I know you do. So click the like button. Also subscribe. You should subscribe because subscribing is fun. What's more satisfying than clicking that subscribe button and know that you just subscribed to something and you didn't have to pay a dime for it. Then you can click on that bell, but I kind of hate that because I hate getting all these emails telling me that a new video, I'll find the video when I'm ready. I don't need an email. They're sending me emails telling me somebody I like. First off, if I like them, I already know they posted a video. So why do I click the bell? I don't click the bell often. If you want to be notified by email, then click the bell. If you don't want to, then why would you bother? But do subscribe because that means things and it's fun and satisfying and nobody's going to send you an annoying email after you do that. I'll see you next week with another extremely fun and informative review that you will love and share with your family.